Hey Libra, what's up my friends? So I was watching a video in my watch later tab on YouTube last night for educational purposes and it was about stalkers. And I came across another video this morning about gang stalking and the differences in stalkers and all this stuff, right? You know, again, just for educational purposes, something different to watch than my usual tarot videos that I usually watch. So this video is about who is stalking you, Libra, and why? And spirit is here stating the obvious. At the bottom of the true crime and conspiracy deck, we have gift. Because you possess a gift. You have a gift. You have many gifts. You're going to make a difference with your gifts. You're making a difference with your gifts, Libra. At the bottom of the Kipper, it's because you roll with the light. Occupation. You're good at what you do. This person doesn't mind their job, doesn't mind their work. Because they're very good. This is a very talented seamstress. And you see the light behind her? She rolls with the light. So you're gifted. You roll with the light. You have proven and shown divine how strong you are. Your capabilities. We had fortitude that wanted to pop out of the tarot. Now, these people stalking you, I decided to use the physical features and beyond oracle from Etsy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have unhealthy habits. One of your stalkers, for some of you, likes to, I'm hearing like, LSD. I just heard trip balls. <laughs> okay. I'm just, let's be real here. Okay. Now, the other deck I have is the Gypsy Oracle, and I've yet to shuffle that. So let's do that one time. Oh, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> have y'all seen that? <laughs> Those memes and those videos with that lady from like the 80s. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh boy, Libra. Surprise. Gosh, one of these weirdos wants to pop up. Pop up on you. Like, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head now. Surprise, surprise. Oh, boy. All righty. Let's get all these cards back into their respectable decks. We're going to start with the tarot. Of, of course, of course. Look at that. Your destiny. I just picked the deck up. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Your wealth destiny. Your destiny of wealth. It's also wealth of knowledge. You have wealth in many forms. And it all has to do with your purpose. Your divinely led and guided purpose, Libra. Six of Cups, also past life, who you were, who you were in a past life, what you did in a past life, 
in regards to your occupation. The Six of Cups, that's my past life card. Yeah, you take pleasure in this. Or you will. Like I said, you don't mind your occupation or you will not mind what you do for work in the near future. A lot of it revolves around who you were in a past life, who you are in this life, who you are becoming in this life, Libra, how closely knit, pun intended, even though she's not knitting, she's sewing, <laughs> how closely knit and tied in you are with the divine, the light. It's the main purpose why you're stalked so hard and gang stalked gift i just heard um my guide say your mere presence is a gift your presence is a gift your presence is a present mm -hmm. first card out Who's stalking Libra? Who's gang stalking Libra and why? The Knight of Swords, Lord of the Winds and Breezes. Bottom of the deck. The Magician. Archangel Michael here is popping up first and foremost to let you know if you are working with him, he is actively day and night protecting you from these people's magic. That's wild because I have all the cards on my table for the Archangel Michael reading. And I will be getting to that. Every time I say I'm going to do something on camera at a certain time, it never gets done. So I'm just going to stop saying when I'm going to do it. But yeah, I've got the cards on my table for that reading. So Archangel Michael here, the Knight of Swords, our Knight Libra popping out first, just to remind you. That you're protected from this magic. This group of magis. You have a league of angels. My scalp is tingling. The angels are here. Literally, my scalp is tingling. I love when that happens. Because it assures me that the angels are here. You have a league of angels surrounding you, you and your sleeper. Next card out, the Ace of Cups. Some of you truly belong to the Holy Grail, a holy bloodline, royal bloodline, lineage, royalty, for real, for real. Ace of Cups, this is the Holy Grail. That's the hand of God presenting the cup with the Princess of Swords. Again, this group that is watching you, Page of Swords, look at that. Doesn't, she, doesn't all those snakes and all the, yeah, remind you of Medusa. The jealousy is real because of your connect. Your connects, Libra. They're watching you because of how connected you are. And what you're going to do next. Because they know this is a brand new beginning for you in your life. So they're stalking hard and heavy.
Who's stalking Libra and why? <laughs> I just started again. Surprise, surprise. The chariot. Cancerian energy there. You could have a cancer. Stalking pretty hard. And if that's not the case, again, the triumph of light. It's a chariot of light. It's earth angel energy. This always reminds me of Enoch. Being rushed off, right? With the winds and breezes. Being rushed off. By the angels to heaven to go from human to archangel metatron that's what the chariot reminds me of here earth angel it's because you're an earth angel if you've ever been misplaced lost Locked away. You overcame it though. I've, I've had both of those experiences. I was lost at eight years old. Found my own way back. Using my gift of visual memory. I wasn't even, I was in Florida. I was <laughs> on a vacation. And I got left in the arcade alone. And I had to find my way back to the room. But I used my visual memory anyways. And then my senior year of high school, I spent six years. Six years, oh my gosh. Thank the Lord. Whew, thank the Lord. It was not six years, six months, excuse me, locked away. And the only reason I'm talking about being lost or locked away or um, tried to be even just put into a box, okay, Libra? People wanted to keep you small, keep you in a box with the eight of swords here at the bottom. They didn't want you to find your true light, fly free. Embrace this new beginning, new opportunity. That's what they don't want. That's what they don't like. See, the Eight of Swords says, Lord of Shortened Force. All those attacks, all that magic, it's like it all got caught up in its own dark web. It's like your angels sent out this, oh my gosh, do you know those spiky things that you can like fly through the air? They're a weapon. They're spiky and they're circular and they, they're like flying discs, but they're spiky. <laughs> that's what this looks like. And I've never been channeled that before with this card, but that's literally what your angels Archangel Michael is here and Archangel Metatron is here with their holy divine lineage in the Ace of Cups. It's like they threw out one of those and all their attacks got caught up into that spiky disc. That's what it looks like in the image, does it not? And look. But it was intended for a target. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's go. Read these cards. I've never noticed this either. Look in the background. Look at those circles. That's like a target. You were the target, but Spirit shortened their force real quick. What, what are those called? I have to Google it. What are they called? Hold on, Libra. We need to find out. We need to know. Spiky discs thrown to cause harm. Um, 
No. Um, Chinese or Japanese spiky boomerang. There they are. Shurikens. Hand hidden blade is a Japanese. I know what I'm talking about. Japanese weapon that was used as a hidden dagger to distract or misdirect. They're also known as throwing stars or ninja stars, although they were originally designed in many different shapes. And look at them here. You thought I was just making stuff up, right? Look, there they are. All the different shapes. And look at that. What? <laughs> Wow. They tried to lock up or lock away or try to steal the gifts of a high priestess. A true magi, the hermit. A true children of the voice divine, a true child of God. But look at that, Seven of Wands, Lord of Valor. You have victory over these stalkers, victory over these ops. Let's go into the other cards. They fall into their own despair and cruelty with the Nine of Swords. Look at that. The same trap they set for you. Wow. Spirit is speaking through these cards today because I've never noticed half of these images. Look at that trap. Spikes, spikes, spikes. Trap. The same trap they set for you is the one that they are getting entangled. And look what's at the center again. The spiky star weapon. The Shurek, Shureki, Shureku, Shureki. Mm -mm -mm. I just saw this. Three of Pentacles. While shuffling as well. The Three of Pentacles to me, this stands for people at work. They want to work with you, but you don't want to work with them. These people are stalking you. A king of cups. Again, emphasis on a cancer. A king of cups could definitely be in charge of this stalking, intimidation, gang stalking effort against some of you Librans. Let's use the true crime cards. Just cut the deck open to landfill. <laughs> they try to do what you do, but their work <laughs> is trash and they end up in regret. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Mm. They see you as a secret weapon or they see, they think you have a secret weapon. Who are they? What do they want? Why are they stalking Libra? Speaking of secret. 
top secret classified. I just heard in my mind secret society they're definitely wanting to keep this stalking and gang stalking a secret like they don't want you um, like if you can physically see somebody stalking you in a car you know something's not right and you start to tape them they don't like that they don't like to be exposed they don't want to be caught on camera they want to keep this all hush hush what else somebody involved in this gang stalking libra is definitely involved in the crypto world with cryptocurrency They could have some, I heard insider. They have some type of insider trading information when it comes to crypto. We have home. That's a really neat home. I'm just looking at the card, admiring it. I think you've, many of you have been aware of the ways in which, in days in which you're being watched at home. For some of you, this is definitely an X that you ended things with, a snake. We have reptilian at the bottom. Okay. For some of you, again, it's like they followed you portal portal some of them are truly demonic npcs that followed you here they're trying to come up with a plan to blackmail you or i heard um extort extort you again portal they haven't been able to find anything now with the advances in AI they may try to uh create something in the near future to say that it was you Libra to say oh yeah that's that's Libra they said that they said it they did it look and see but it's an AI generated thing like it won't hold weight We have crossroad, and this reminds me of distraction or like an accident. They could have in the past tried to cause um, you to have a car accident. Okay, we have collapse. Wow. Well, we know this 
is part of their plan. But I'm seeing this collapse. Ooh, my guides and angels just said jokes on them. Jokes on them. These gang stalkers and stalkers could have tried to say you have mental health problems when actuality they most definitely have mental health problems. There's a timeline issue here. They were not able to succeed in time. I'm hearing they were not able to succeed with something in time. There was a timeline issue. It's because of your protection. Let's see what the Kipper would like to add to this. Wow, look what I kind of opened to. This is obvious. You have big, major gifts, Libra. And you're meant to make a big difference here. Or you're getting ready to, to receive big gifts. Or a big gift. Oh my gosh. And why did I have a house in my mind as I said big gift? The house card came out. Again, this gorgeous house. Look, we've received it twice now. We're going to tap in. What about your home? What about this house? What about it? Somebody knows something belongs to you or will belong to you. They're in despair about it. So despair at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and it just came out. Yeah, confirmation. Confirmation, confirmation. Ooh, it's on the distant horizons, Libra. This is a dream home because this is like my dream card. It's like a, a dream ship. It's flying. The home of your dreams is right around the corner. And I keep hearing the, and the joke is on them. Official person. You could receive a communication about this home or acceptance for this loan to get this home, whatever the case. Or something that's been gifted to you. Remember how we kept seeing gift? Not only has to do with your gifts, but you receiving a gift. I was going to say, what about this official person? And courtship was right at the bottom. And then when I shuffled, it popped out. You have somebody that wants to... This is an official person, okay? They're not going to play any games, Libra. They don't want to play any games here. So if you are in a relationship, in love, this is... They want to make it official with you. Very soon. 
If you are single, there is someone that wants to be official with you. They want to take you out. We have courthouse at the bottom. Somebody here could work in the legal system, in the judicial system, or you guys could decide down the line to just elope or just go get married at the courthouse. You both could be the type that have brought yourself out of poverty. I just saw the poverty card. Main male. You brought yourself out of, you brought yourselves out of poverty and you became the main characters of your life. Yep. And embraced your gifts or get ready to receive a gift plain and simple libra let's see what the gypsy cards would like to add to this this person will also be a friend Or some of you are going to be meeting new friends. Yep, conversing. Conversation with journey. Traveling and meeting new people. You're definitely the talk of the town, the topic of conversations. I just heard some people, this is so weird. Some of these stalkers have traveled far and wide to try to get a glimpse of you. They've heard, it's like so weird. People have heard a lot about you, Libra. And I'm hearing they wanna know if, if what they heard is true, whatever that means. They want to travel towards you, but I, yeah, letter, communication. <laughs> we don't support the psycho stalkers. We don't want relationships with them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thief came out with gift. And I looked up at 3333. 33. It's taking me back to the Three of Pentacles. It's taking me back to Masonic Lodge. 33 degrees. There's a thief here that wants to steal something you're being gifted. Okay? Okay. Or they definitely want to steal your gifts. Self-defense has been on my mind in this new year. Especially when it comes like if you're a parent. Or even an auntie or uncle, you know, grandparent, whatever the case. It's like you and the kids need to take a defense class. It's just, it's a crazy world. And I don't think it's going to, it's going to get crazier before it gets calmer. You know what I mean? So we have widower in reverse. Yeah. Whoa, they tried it and they're going to jail, prison, forget jail. They're going to prison. I heard state 
penitentiary or even a federal facility for trying to end you with widower in reverse. Wow. For trying to end some of you. Wow. Crazy psycho. Blue eyes. Look at that one blue eye again. That's Illuminati symbolism. I've never even seen that card before. I didn't even know there was a blue eye card. I promise. I've never seen that card. I've seen the green eye card, but never the blue eye. Okay. For some of you, there's a stalker that looks and resembles this person. We have mature at the bottom. Then they both have beards. So there's a mature masculine who's rocking a beard. That doesn't mean they won't shave it off tomorrow just because I'm calling them out right now. You know what I mean? Who else? Freckles. With the rainbow. So you could have somebody that belongs to the... Wow. Confirmation. Confirmation. You may have somebody that belongs to the LGBTQ community. Stalking you. Someone here has a scar, visible scar on their face. That's either from past trauma or past fights, altercations this person has been in. And then we have baby face. That came out with white clothing. Okay. These two cards together. Reminds me of. Polygamy. Polygamists. Or Mormons. Again. I'm not trying to. I'm not saying anything hateful. About any. Group of people here. I am simply stating in this reading, this is for entertainment purposes only, by the way, all alleged information, who is gang stalking Libra and why, okay? I'm simply the messenger. All right, let's finish this up. Somebody that is stalking you has many tattoos. Somebody stalking you could do Taekwondo, Karate, Tai Chi. That's what I just heard. Mature. Somebody stalking or part of this gang stalking could be some type of shaman. Okay. Tribal, right after shaman. Definitely a practitioner. Somebody here with curly, blondish hair. Okay, let's finish this up. 
And then we're going to get advice for you, Libra. Here again, we have the mixed colored eyes. And I just spoke about the blue eye, not seeing that card before, but I have seen the green eye card. Something about reptilians and the eyes. We have someone tall. For whatever reason, that fence reminds me of a fence around like a basketball court. A basketball player. It doesn't have to always be super negative. Ooh, yeah, this tall person is muscular as well. I'm hearing, I work out. <laughs> okay, they work out, boo. They work out, Libra. He's stalking you. Okay. Let's use the tarot to end off this reading. What's Libra's advice in regards to their stalkers? Don't worry, divine forces. We'll, we'll come to your aid if need be. Lord of the forces of life, the wheel of fortune. I'm hearing, lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. It won't be long. So you're going to need somebody to lean on. Mm, okay. Won't we all, though? I feel like we all will. We all do. Your advice, Libra, is material happiness. The nine of cups. And not only material happiness, just happiness all around. Emotional happiness. Cups is emotional fulfillment with temperance, daughter of the reconcilers. There, the divine is making this ish right. Like they're transmuting all that negative crap into gold for you, Libra. Treasure, nine of cups, gifts. Look what's behind gifts. Great fortune. On what? On a distant horizon and behind distant horizon? Sudden wealth. And guess what's behind sudden wealth? I can't make this stuff up. Occupation again. And I heard it's not what you do, it's how you do it, Libra. Give this reading a big thumbs up if you found messages here. I hope you did. Stay balanced. Stay blessed, you guys. Until next time, peace.